Citroen C Elise, B Class Sedan, Front Wheel Drive, Mechanics, Automatic and Robot, Gasoline and Diesel Engines from 72 to 115 horsepower. When creating this sedan, engineers and designers looked, they just couldn't help but look at the competition, trying to invent something more than just a vehicle, but without sacrificing functionality. Well, how can one not recall the fabulous Prince Alicia, sung by the same Pushkin? This character is not as hyped as the army of Ivans and Ivanushki of varying degrees of generosity, but much more universal. He not only awakened beauties with kisses, but could also turn into a mouse, if required by the high mission of a fighter for all good against all bad. The French do not hide the fact that the Citroën Céalise and Peugeot 301 are practically twins, and all the differences are concentrated between the front bumper and windshield pillars. You will not envy designers, under such conditions of the task, Go and make a car that you will not be ashamed to put in one showroom with elegantly restrained sedans and hatchbacks. The appearance of Elise should be recognized as successful. The sedan stands firmly on all four wheels and inspires confidence in the inevitable future. And this cannot but disturb in anticipation of getting to know the interior. What if everything is bad there? No, it's not bad, and even gracefully. In any case, there are almost more generic signs here than outside three-spoke steering wheel with a beveled bottom, an automatic selector or a manual gearbox handle, all this is familiar from other models. The shape of the steering wheel is also played by the silver edging of the instruments, between which there is a monochrome liquid crystal screen of red color. The relief of the window sill rhymes with the ventilation system deflectors, and the interior handles of the front doors are woven in an intricate pattern with voluminous pockets. The center console narrowed down with a multi-button radio tape recorder ornament and not quite traditional, a quite convenient microclimate control unit from the C3 model deserves the applause of Andre Citroen himself. Well, the mats of the exclusive version with white edging are just chic. Now is the time to ask, where is the savings? Yes, everywhere. The elegant interior is assembled from cheap plastic, and the junctions of the trim panels in some places look very disturbing. The rear power window keys nestled between the front seats, it's cheaper than mounting them on the doors. The back seat itself is spacious enough for three, but there are only two head restraints, and even those are integrated. Ventilation windows are cut on the sides of the center console, directed to the legs of the driver and front passenger, protruding heads of self-dapping screws, uncovered sound insulation and an exposed steering shaft are also found there. However, exhaling and taking a break, you understand that the collapse of hopes did not happen. In the end, if the materials were more expensive here, there would be suspicions that they saved on something much more important. It is useless to pull the steering wheel towards you, it is only adjustable in tilt. Asians may be used to it, but I, spoiled by European traditions, involuntarily put a minus. The seat is also not quite old world, the lateral support seems to be in place, but the pillow is still soft. Well, okay, I'll move a click closer and load the back a little more. At the same time I'll please the virtual rear riders. However, they won't have to complain about tightness anyway. The location of the sofa allows you to enter inside with dignity, and not to tighten your legs, placing them under the pillow of the front seat. There are no passengers, you can increase the cargo volume, pull the loop, and part of the back falls forward. However, the sofa can be completely left alone, 506 liters in the trunk is enough for all occasions. Thin hinges raise the trunk lid high and it is convenient to close it, there are two internal handles for this. Is it worth it to complain about the lack of upholstery after that? We get back behind the wheel. The right hand rests on a narrow but comfortable armrest, in which they did not forget to organize the same elongated pencil case, which is easily transferred to a vertical position. Almost the only ergonomic miscalculation is associated with window management. I understand that the lack of wiring in the doors is due to the desire to save money still getting used to such a solution is not easy. Everything else is comfortable and familiar. The audio system can be fed with external storage devices, and you get used to controlling the climate control system instantly. But the most important thing is that the car permeates with a certain feeling of quality, which reveals itself in a variety of places, for example, in the efforts on the buttons. And when involuntarily you start to want more than you should, you have to upset yourself, reminding yourself that this is a very inexpensive car. Before hoisting the impressive body of the Tse onto the C3 platform, it was stretched by 186 millimeters, 
and the track was expanded by 36 mm in front and 11 mm in the rear. And although the sedan is noticeably larger than the original hatchback, he gained only a couple of kilos in weight. The roads around Barcelona are not the best testing ground. There are no pits at all, seams and joints cannot be found, and even waves are a rarity. In such greenhouse conditions, riding the Tse Elise is a real thrill. Citro accurately writes the trajectory, and reacts to changes in dynamic balance with the willingness and predictability of some kind of hot hatchback. By the way, during all these exercises, the cabin was quite quiet, even the noise of the Michelin Energy Saver tires remained somewhere outside. What made it difficult to feel like an inhabitant of Elysium was the poorly chosen gear ratios of a mechanical box. The first two transmissions fly by like dead stops on a high-speed train route. The third, on the contrary, is overly stretched. On the second day of dating, I moved into a car with a four-speed automatic. Its gear ratios are more logical, but with such a box, the motor seems to be completely sleepy. For leisurely trips around the city, this alignment will still work, but if you often have to travel outside of it, then the mechanics looks preferable. And as for the suspension, on a few sharp bumps that I managed to find in Catalonia, say Elise willingly shuddered with this whole muscular body, which confirmed the theory that Elysius exists only in myths.